I want to uh, respond to Exist, a uh, uh, viewer here, subscriber. And let's, let's just, um, let me see the comments and then we'll go from there. It'd be a nice uh, reply. So I, I try to troll out the uh, engineer on this by saying it was a woman many times. You guys remember, might have said that a few times. I wanted someone to, to step up and shut me down. That didn't work. Um, this is a guy that did this. Now, known about it for some time, I was just trying to troll out some other data. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Looking under the comments here, it exists. The, uh, without seeing the condition first, conditions firsthand, I feel as though it is premature to judge. Even from the limited photos we have, I can see, I can still imagine how the wall could have cracked as we see without this area of the deck being the initial point of failure for the eventual deck collapse. Um, yeah, I'm throwing the uh, engineering company under the bus. And this is pretty clear with the uh, with, with what I'm stating is the junior engineer works for the engineer. The engineering company's already paid out, so I'm throwing somebody under the bus already that deserves to be thrown under the bus. They could have. Uh, the, the, well, let me. You know what? Let me give you an excerpt from uh, from a recording, and let's go from there. Listen. It's just. I don't, you know, <laughs> it's not below freezing there. This the, the thing is not expanding and breaking it open. Okay, this is the. I teach a course in forensics, forensic structural engineering. Listen. One of the things that uh, we're taught is to be open minded and. So, this is why you guys often hear me talk about how I need to look for the, uh, the magic bird that might have came and landed and caused the failure. Why I look for other things such as. A car backing up on the other side of the planter box, pushing it over, you know, hitting the railing, hitting the other bottom of the box and pushing it over. Of course, we don't have that data. That doesn't exist. But to think outside the box, listen to the rest of his narrative and then you'll understand what, what I mean. Do what we call divergent thinking in terms of what other ways could this problem arise? Yes, if you were in the Northeast, and you had, you know, freezing and, and, and thawing, you could have this happening. Yes, roots, if they uh, try to find their way through the joints between a wall, could cause cracks. But you need to rule them in or rule them out. But there are other ways uh, those cracks could, could form. The structure could be deforming or, or deflecting. You need to check that and rule that in or rule that out. All right. So, let, of course, I, for fair use, I have to do a narration and talk about what he's saying. Or give my own narration. So, the uh, what he's saying is that freezing, you know, we're not in a freeze thaw. Th they're not in a freeze thaw cycle area there. So there was no expansion of the soil from water expansion, soil expansion. Um, that this would be structural slab deflection is what he's referencing. Um, and let's go from there. I'm only going to take it about a minute or so. As well. So I, I believe that they should have checked all of the possible causes for a crack like this. Stewart inspected the property every day and this was the first time he'd noticed these cracks so it seemed So let, let's stop that. Stewart is the property manager and as I understand it and he inspected a property every day. Now part of this video that he said mo they did also say mostly every day but <clears throat> considering the mostly every day narrative that means he checked it the day before before he went to bed before it got dark whatever it may be, that it was inspected within 24 hours. And then when the next day, he, he sees these cracks. Realize that, remember guys, there's a history of quite a few people saying that there's a lot of banging noise going on, etc. Well, well, this was a, an abrupt, um, um, acute action. This was not over time where you would hear all these, um, this fracturing. Well, time exists, so it's over some time, but it's a limited time. Now, we, we fast forward to our 111 and we talk about banging and rattling. Remember before the collapse, remember I, I speculate that that's possibly um, hammer, uh, water hammer. The pipes are, uh, are loose and their pressure somewhere is going off there. There's some rattling of the pipes, all right, with the pressure 
being regular, being maintained. These sprinkler systems have to maintain a certain amount of, of PSI. And maybe there was a slight fracture in it. It, it was maintaining PSI without causing a, um, an, over, an under pressure situation where it would call for a 911 call to the uh, dispatcher, if you will, that it would automatically do it. It, it wasn't there yet. When it was there, it got there because the, the Shimoka, the security guard, called about an earthquake. And right after the earthquake phone call, the security guard company made a notification. So it appears that somewhere between the, 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 the she was pretty hot on the phone call, right, falling right behind the uh, earthquake noises that they work right together. So let's get let's go with this. It's just data, guys. I, I don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. I let it just fall where it falls. It seems reasonable to conclude that they appeared basically all at once, maybe even overnight. And to that point, this exact same area had been photographed a little over a year before, in right. April 2020. And in those pictures, it wasn't there is shown. no sign of... There's no sign of this happening. Well, we know that, uh, the timeline. This is June 8th that these images were taken. So, June 8th, the engineer did no follow-up. It appears that no, we have no other photographs showing it expanding, getting larger... Um, this is, this is very interesting about the camera thing, too. I wish they would have asked him about the cameras. Apparently, that's not part of this discussion. ...and of the cracks at all. All right. Nick Nehamas picks it up here as he and Sarah exactly. Blasky press Stewart so for you're... even more details. So, Sarah Blasky is the Miami Herald, uh, uh, um, uh, news, news reporter. Now, I think she's doing a fair job. It's, you know, I, I see some defects in some of her questioning, but... For general knowledge, I think she's doing pretty fair. You know, some of the things I may feel like, shit, you dropped the ball. You should have went this way. You should have went that way. Or, you know, but I think she's, you know, about 85% fair, 15% uh, missing the ball. 85 is pretty damn good. Mm, sure. said, um, they sent a junior engineer, you said, to check it out. They sent a junior, so here you guys go. So you guys know it's a junior engineer. So to check it out. This is the report from uh, how, the investigation. How long did that engineer spend looking at the cracks? Listen. Probably 10, 15 minutes. That is the, uh, the guy that said 10, 15 minutes is the, uh, again, the property guy that was in the photographs um, there. And he'll identify that also. And now he's going to state how he, that she was more out there. Is she... You know, I can get my own narrative mixed up. He was out there to really inspect the uh, anchors for the roof. And did he then go downstairs to, to the garage to see what was underneath the area that was cracking? Not that I recall, no. So not that he can recall, no. Photographs up top, roots, never went downstairs. Now, exist. What are you doing to me here? You're triggering me here pretty hard. By wanting to support this this sorry ass um, uh, engineer that did this. Um, and do you think? I mean, do you think you would remember if he did that? Pretty sure, because I would have walked with him. And he doesn't remember what. The, the roof was under construction at that point, or, or some of those repairs had been happening. Correct. Correct. Um, actually, what was happening is um, we were putting in the safety anchors required by OSHA. Okay, I see. So this was um, this was kind of, hey, let's go look at this, look at the planter um, before we, we come and do what was planned for today, which is the roof and looking at those anchors. Correct. All right. So she stated what was planned, what was planned for today. And then uh, so, so it appears, even though you made the company made a call for the engineer, we're holding out something. What are the odds are it cracked the day before and and the um, the engineer is scheduled to come out the next day for the roof anchors? What, what are the odds of it, those two together? This is what I'm getting from the article. Let me see if I can give you back it up. Under construction at that point or, or some of those repairs had been happening, correct? It's correct. Um, actually, what was happening is... Um, we were putting in the safety anchors required by OSHA for the scaffolding. 
I see. So this was, um, this was kind of, Hey, let's go look at this, look at the planter, um, before we, we come and do what was planned for today, which is the roof and looking at those anchors. Correct. And so what, what did the junior engineer do with the photos he took? I, I would have to assume that he had sent to know over to Frank to evaluate. And actually, I know he did because Frank and I had talked and thought it was just the roots from the plants. Okay, so Frank at Morbido is what he's identifying. And they both thought it was roots from the plant. Now, I, I want to show you this, guys. I'm going to show you draw my drawing. Let me do one of my drawings for you. I was going to actually do a... You know what? I still may do it. Maybe I still have time today. But I'm going to show you block here. I'm going to show you roots on this side. Okay, now I'm going to show you blocks here that are closed up with mortar on this side. Face, and here are the plants, shrubbery over here. I want you to figure a block, and, it, and it's also coated inside there. So the roots go through the coating, and they start going into this block. Okay. So initially, they go through the block. I'm going to do exaggerations because that's what I do, and I close that up with plaster. Here's the roots going through. What happens there? The roots going through. It's going to get larger, wedging, 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 until it comes out to the other side to make the joints even. All the way down. All the roots decided to do that all the way down. So I don't know where this bias came from to say it was roots. There is something that's, that, that, that Sarah Blasky needs to dive deeper into with this guy, perhaps, even. Why did they want to jump on and call it Roots? What was the... What was the... Why, what, what, what was, why would you want to call it Roots? I mean, they're the only two calling it Roots uh, and the junior engineer, but Frank Morbido, as you call him Frank uh, Morbido, is in agreement with it. Now, let's see if they got some documents, but let's go. And okay, so made them all separate. So that, so that day, Frank looked at the photos, and what did he determine, and what did he tell you? Um, my best recollection is that it wasn't anything that urgent, um, since we were going to be taking the planters out anyway to waterproof the decks. Um, that I'm gonna stop it soon. Really, there was no action to be taken. No. Let's stop right there. So, no action to be taken. I can only take so much liberty with their content. So, the uh, um, the no action to be taken uh, because we're gonna do it anyway. So we we got and remember, I think he was trying to get the job himself. I, I don't know that. I don't. Re I just what I kind of generally recall. I, I uh, it was financial interest in there, but. As this further in this documentary says, the engineer speaks up again. The other engineer that's in this, in this uh, Sarah's talking to says, you know, why not default basically is what he's saying. Maybe I'm giving a little more credit than what he said, but why not default and just support it, support the structure? Their engineer never went on an EAF. He had limited photographs, and I, I, it is what it is, all right? It's exactly what it is. Frank did not have the pictures from an EAF. He didn't have full data. They discussed it, they said, and they think it's the roots. But also remember, we've been reported that the junior engineer stayed the roots. Now, this guy's not an engineer, the building guy, but he had a consensus with the Frank that it was roots. So thanks for the guy for speaking up. But on the other hand, um, it was way out of his wheelhouse. You don't see roots. There's no friggin' roots, all right? Um You've got, you, sh you should have removed some of the debris, the, the shrubs out of there, and take a look at it. If you're going to fix it anyway, well, no harm, no foul. Remove the debris. Why didn't Frank uh, Morbido tell him that? Look, we're going to do it anyway. Pull it out anyway in a matter of a few weeks. So how about you go ahead and pull the shrubbery out of there for me, and let's get a better look at that. How about you do that, and let's take a look at it. Let's see what we got there. Let's see what else we got going on there. But no exploratory investigation is stopped there because of future work going to happen anyway don't sweat it this tells you the mindset that frank had no idea that this thing was going to was was going to collapse he had no idea even with the photograph about the simple um let me get a better image so it took me a minute but i found some photographs for you um this appears to be the guy uh talking on the phone 
and he moves the trash can, and he's standing over there. This is the photographer photographing. Let's go. I found two shots off of Josh's images, and so giving credit to him for loading those up, uh, for sharing from Miami Herald. Do um, you see the roots in there? I, I saw. I, I stand. I apologize. I, I I now see the roots. I I see them everywhere, hanging down here and everywhere else. I, I'm just you know on crack cocaine. I sometimes I just don't see what I don't see. I can see the roots all penetrating through there. I see no roots. All right. I see no roots. The guy said he did his walkthrough every day, um, inspections every day's walkthrough. Anything stands out. So this was called on. They don't actually, he's not very clear when he made the phone call. So that's why Sarah gets the 85% because she didn't say, wait a minute, when did you make that phone call? When did you first observe it? What time was it? When did you make the phone call? But instead she twisted it around to say, so it was kind of like they were coming out there anyway for the look at the anchors. And then from the anchors, they were like, you know, let's take a look at that. So Sarah Blasky get, loses 15% for that because of the, trying to control the narrative that way. When reality, the engineer was probably called for this. And then the engineer says, I can charge for, well, this. But we can also look at your anchors on the roof and give another fee. Simple, simple as checking billing on that uh, to see what billing came in to confirm that or not. Sarah Bland, Sarah could check into that if the if they would allow it, but I don't think they would allow her to have access. Any anyone would, maybe the courts have some record of the billing that she could look up and say, "Wait a minute, they made the phone call on this date. The order purchase order was put in basically to do the inspection for this. At the same time, they doubled down and did the anchor inspections. Anchor inspection was done by the municipality, as we know, the roof inspection." confirming these anchors so now it looks like we're back to this the anchors were signed off by the engineering firm and not the municipality just noteworthy that we're back to uh that again i thought this town was had their own engineer by then uh that would that would uh want to play along all right of course they wouldn't want to you see the elevation changes here You can see the elevation changes there. Um, it's, it's huge. And then we have this fractured uh, mortar. Now, now, these blocks are not mitered in. You see the way the miter is there? They're not mitered in. They, this appears to be, you know, so great of a, uh, the, the, this is really a good product there. That Maybe, you know, I have to look at it again uh, with other images we can find them. If Sarah can find them, if Hell, if Josh can find them, you'd want to look into, this looks like a miter cut, a miter break. So you want to look into which direction, is was the block going this way? All right, because remember this had a, a cap on it, a cap somewhere like that. And for this to rotate and fracture, that's amazing. Normally if the block would just break free there and the paint would come along with it. We see that there, evident there. There's a joint where they put it put it together. But remember, again, this is a corner. So the block, you know, it's like this block comes over, and then this one overlaps this one, then the next block overlap this one, and this one overlaps this one. That's the way you do the corner. You don't do a corner like do that and then run this one over here like that. That makes a joint that's just going to keep opening up on you. This open joint tells so much. If I can only get a tighter image... Maybe we can see the block do a bypass, meaning like I showed you go the other direction. All right, if I were going to if I were going to put money on this, I would say this is the full block, and let me move it. You can see it looks like about a full full block, and then I would say this joint there is a half block that goes over the extra length to overlap this additional eight inches. So I'd want to see if this is eight inches right here. Then we know we got a sixteen inch block. 15 and 5 eighths plus mortar 16. Um, the So that's what you want to see. Is that 8, inch, eight inches? And as we overlap, then we go now make this one. This is a full block. This becomes a half. Uh, this is a full. Am I there already? But then we got that cap to deal with. But the fracture across the top is like that. You know, it's, it's like mitered. So that's a huge uh, rotation force there.
to fracture this and would give us our lifting action also as this side, this side goes down. It would give us our lifting force to get this break because it's lifting up on a beam, if you will. So let's put the top of this planter box like that and then this side underneath of it. As this side rotates down, it's, it's able to lift it up and part of that bond is here. Okay, this piece there appears to come out of here, maybe come out of there a bit. It looks like kind of cold jointish, kind of flat. Um, that's covish. It's got a little cove shape to it, but no paint on it. So I'm trying to put it, put that piece there, that piece you see there, trying to put it back in. In my mind, you see paint on one side, it's a stucco mix, approximately half inch, one coat. Maybe it's got a thin coat of paint on it, the elastomeric, elastomeric paint. Um, but it's pretty brittle, too. We got a brittle fracture there, and this is stretchy, elastic. <clears throat> I think there's one more in here that gives us some service to that. Yeah, I'm sticking with that 45-ish thing. And then we have the... Um, Yeah, I'm just looking at the block there. Yeah, it looks like one coat on the face of that block. And then the stucco mix. So remember we have the floor. I'm going to do some... This is below the floor here, all right? This is below the floor. And the area above the floor... For then we have... I should have put the floor in there. And then there we have the floor... And then we have the stucco mix, this, 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 this rest of this still solid above it. So as, a, as this goes down this direction and this side goes down this direction, because of the floor is going, uh, rotating down, we get it, the separation on this side and separation on there, like, like a crown. Let's see if we can zoom in and you see that. Yeah, it looks like it's it's crowned there. Like they're right about if I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess the columns here, and that would give us that force up to all the way through here. As this goes down, parting parting the seas, parting two waves. As and it's it's a section right there going rotating rotating upon this section of the of the, uh, the structure. But don't forget the that this is solid above it. All right, um, distortion. Let's talk about that real quickly while we're here. Person photographed. Um, do, 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 center of camera. Yeah, that's probably the best part for this lens right here, the least amount of distortion. And as we go out, remember it's this way and this way. You have more distortion. Um, so we'd zone it up a little bit. Something like it would be the best. So it's actually... Pretty good. It's in a good spot, photography-wise, especially this. So if you're going to scale, you'd scale from here. Use this as your scale, as your true as your scaling out. Uh, looking at our lines here, they're... Yeah, they've got a pretty nice-looking look camera there. It's pretty good. The lines are... Maybe converging down, you know, further down here. So distortion out there on there, as you can see, they start getting closer there. This one's almost on top. So this is a distorted area. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. And this is the least amount of distortion. Using your lines again. Using, I mean, we got grid lines. So you can't beat these grid lines to help you figure out distortion. And I, I, you can do that much more cleaner on a, on a tablet. NIST can for sure. Um, speaking of that, I have a good video, great video coming up with you with my shake table and NIST. But it will also reveal that they also, uh, I'm taking a little narrative, all right? Remember, I don't like flat slabs. Flat slabs. Flat, that's a word. Plate slab. Plate slab. Flat without the E. Flat slab. Oh, put a T down here. 
Did I? Yeah. <laughs> hey, my brain, guys. Now you see what's inside my coconut. So plate slab, flat slabs, don't like them. Don't like them. Um, I don't like them doing double duty, acting as the structural slab, acting as the, the flooring, doing all this work, acting as rigidity for the building. End of video, but I'm just telling you my bias. And love you guys. And if there, there's a lot more to the audio. I, I've actually paid to join and listen to the audio, so I have the uh, full access to it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tolerate it all, but this is just a reply to exist and for you guys to understand also. Take care. You can listen to it again. Love you. Bye.